Want to learn how to dodge and burn? Stay tuned. Hey, I'm Chris McNish, content creator for Sweet Gap Incorporated. And this is the last part of my three-part series. Before I go any further, please click on the subscribe button if you want to see more videos. I have already cleaned the skin and applied frequency separation. If you want to learn how I did that, I'll put the links in the description. I'm going to show you how to apply a simple dodge and burn to your subject. Dodging and burning is a technique in Photoshop to manipulate the highlights and the shadows in a picture. There are several spots on the face that you can dodge and burn. Here's an example of a headshot where I'm going to show you where I am going to dodge and burn. So I have an example here. Um, I have Katrina here and this is already done. But uh, what I'm going to do is I created a layer here and I'm just going to click on my brush. And with my brush, I'm going to use two colors. I'm going to use white and I'm going to use black. White to represent the highlights where I dodge and blacks to represent the shadows. So right now I'm going to do a white brush. So on here, I'm just going to show you where exactly I put my highlights. So using this brush here, just imagine this is where I'm gonna dodge. I'm also gonna dodge here. I'm gonna dodge here. I'm gonna dodge here. And as you can see, um, what I'm, as I'm putting this on here, you can see exactly where I'm gonna be dodging. You can see why I'm gonna do that. I'll dodge there. I'll dodge here, there. Probably dodge here a little bit. Also gonna dodge here. So now I'm gonna switch the brush over to my blacks and this is where I will burn. I'll burn here, I'll burn here, I'll burn a little bit of there, I'll burn here and there. And then right there at the, right there, I'll burn there. And then right under the highlight, I'll burn here switch back over to the highlight I'll burn I'll highlight there and then I'll burn right under it burn here and I'll burn a little bit of there too and that's pretty much it let's create the layers to dodge and burn so we're here in Photoshop and we're gonna create our layers for our dodge and burn if you go to your adjustment panel we'll click on our curves layer and let's rename this dodge Okay, and then we'll go to our blending mode and let's change that to screen. You see my image got brighter. And of course, I don't want it to stay like that. So I'll click on my clipping mask here and quick key is command I and that inverts the mask. Okay, and then let's create another curves layer. And let's rename that burn. And our blending mode, let's go to multiply. Okay, that made, that crushes our shadows here. So we want to invert the mask that we have. We have our dodge and burn. And what I'm gonna do is select both layers and do my quick key, which is command G and put it in a group. And let's name this folder dodge and burn. Now that we have the layers, let's get to it. Anything that we need to dodge or enhance the highlights, then we'll click on dodge. Anything that we need to uh, darken the shadows or burn, that we'll click on burn. The first thing that we'll do is go to dodge. But before we do that, one tip that I suggest that you can do, you select your burn layer and then click on your black and white adjustment layer. That of course makes your picture black and white, but under your properties, there are two levers that I want you to pay attention to. Normally in everyone's skin, uh, we have reds and we have yellows in our skin. And so what this does is as I'm moving the layer, uh, moving the reds down, it's crushing my shadows. And as I move the yellows up, it's bringing emphasis to my highlights. 
The reason that I do it in black and white, because black and white makes it easier for you to see what you need to dodge and what you need to burn. So we'll just go like that and we'll select our dodge layer. So our dodge layer, our, in, our mask is black, so our brush needs to be white so we can put the effect on. I set my opacity to 5%. And the reason I set it to 5% because every effect that I put on our subject is that I want it to be very, very subtle. So you might not necessarily see it, but after a while, you'll get to see what I'm trying to do here. So I'm putting, as I showed you in the sample, I'm showing you where I'm actually dodging. And then I'll dodge here where the shadow, where the highlight is here. I'll dodge here. And right here under the chin. And if you see where the light is hitting the top of her lip there, put that there and then right here. And then you see this light that's here, puts uh, put a little bit more highlight there. And then right here at the top where her eye is here. Person that gave me this tip on, on this was actually a makeup artist, one of my favorite makeup artists, uh, Sincerely Simone. And she showed me that this is how this is how they put makeup on their clients, um, especially when it comes to where they want the highlights to hit and where they want the shadows to hit. So, and see that little highlight there, I'll accent that. And then this right here, I'll dodge that. See that there? And then what I'm gonna do is toggle this on and off and you'll be able to see the difference. Okay, you can see that there, great. So yeah, uh, Sincerely Simone, thank you so much for the tip on, and I recommend this to any photographer out there. If you know any makeup artists, really good makeup artists, uh, they can really teach you um, just how they apply the makeup to the skin. It can really help you with dodging and burning. Very good tip. All right, so now I'm gonna burn. So burn right there on the edges. And then where the cheekbones are, right there. Get that smaller. And then right here, just do that. And then right here, the bridge of her nose, not on the highlight, but on the shadow. And then right here on the other side. And then right here, I'll just press it a couple of times. And then you see where I did the highlight here, I'm going to burn right under it. And it brings, let's get that shadow there. And you see where I highlight here on either, on both sides, I'm just gonna burn there, burn the top of her bottom lip there and right under. And then, so now what I'm gonna do when I click on dodge and burn, oh, I'm sorry. When I click on my burn, then you'll see the difference, okay? definitely be able to see the difference. Okay, so I'm going to toggle off my black and white layer and now we have our subject here. So now I'm gonna toggle off, toggle off and on, dodging and burning, and you see the subtle difference. See that? Major difference. I did it subtly, but it makes a big difference. Subtle is key. If there is a reason you apply too much to the subject, then you can select a layer and bring down the opacity in the layers pane. See you on the next Sweet Gap tutorial. Click on the subscribe and notification button if you want to see more videos. <laughs>